Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Sullivan from Nova Chiropractic and Acupuncture. There are three exercises I'm going to show you in this video to help improve your posture. So the first exercise we're going to do is called the wall angel. So in this case, we're going to have the patient, she's going to stand really close to the wall. She's going to stick her butt right up against the wall, her back and her head all against the wall. I want you to move your feet a little bit further away. There you go. Give you a little more stability. Then we're going to put our arms into a 90 degree angle up against the wall. So the whole point of this exercise is we're going to maintain contact with the wall with our arms and shoulders. We're going to try to rub against the wall going up as high as we can go. And depending on how tight we are, we, it'll determine how much range of motion we go up. So what I want you to do, I want you to extend your arms out, maintain contact with that wall the entire time. And what you're going to feel, depending on where you're tight, is you'll feel tightness in your lat, you'll feel tightness in your shoulders or in your chest, depending on where you're tight. And we want to do three sets of 10 repetitions, trying to maintain contact with that wall. And if you are only able to go a little bit, that's fine to start. And then as you do this, you'll get more and more range of motion and it'll open up your shoulders, improve your posture and strengthen those stabilizing muscles in your shoulder. So that is the first exercise towards perfect posture. The second exercise we're going to do that is going to improve our posture is called the Brugger's exercise. So with this exercise, we're going to wrap it around her wrist and I'll have Renee show you how to do that. So you're just going to wrap it around and this allows your hands to relax as we're doing the exercise. So what she's going to do is she's going to wrap it around her wrist. We want to try to keep her wrist in neutral, elbows close to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to just externally rotate with the band resistance. And what that's going to do, it's going to help to open up her chest, help to open up the tight muscles in her shoulder and help to strengthen these muscles in the backside. While you're doing this, try to maintain good core posture, kind of keep that core tight. Good. Perfect. And we're going to do three sets of 10 repetitions for this one. And again, you should feel a good stretch in your chest and stretch in the anterior shoulder and then a, a strengthening in the back of the shoulder there. Perfect. And you can relax. So that's called the Brugger's exercise. That's the second exercise towards perfect posture. Okay. The third exercise we're going to do is per perfect posture is we're going to use a dowel or a broomstick or whatever kind of dowel you have, like PVC pipe works really well. And we're going to teach our, body to hip hinge correctly and we're going to learn how to squat correctly. So for the hip hinge, what we're going to do is we're going to face that way. We're going to put the dowel in the back here and what she's going to do is she's going to put her hand right about her, her tailbone and then she's going to put her other hand right behind her head and she wants to maintain contact with this dowel through the whole exercise. And what she's going to do, feet are going to be about shoulder width apart and what she wants to do is she wants to drive her butt back, maintaining contact and she's doing what we call a hip hinge. And good, and come back up. So in a deadlift exercise or anytime we're trying to pick a box up off the floor, something heavy, this is a great exercise because this teaches our body to maintain neutral spine, which is gonna reduce the stress in her back there. Good, and let's do it again. And this is a really good exercise. You will feel it in your hamstrings and in your glutes and uh, just takes, helps to teach that perfect posture for the hip hinge there. Let's do a couple more. Good, and come back up, and one more. Good, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do in the same position, we're gonna maintain this um, position here. Now what we're gonna do, instead of hip hinging from our waist, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be bending our knees and we're gonna be going into a squat position. So she's gonna squat down, good, and come back up, and squat down. Good. And let's teach it again. Good. Go ahead. Good. And relax. Now I'll take that dowel and now let's just do an air squat and you can face that way. Arms straight out. And what I want you to do is we're going to squat down and again, reinforce in that pattern. Good. And come back up. She's maintaining that good posture in her low back and taking pressure off her low back. Good. And you can relax. So those are three exercises you can do to improve your posture and to take pressure off your back and to help take pressure off your shoulders. If you have any questions, give my office call at 703-912-7822 or you can schedule online at novachirowellness.com.